Hi everyone, it's Nancy here, back with another process video for you. Um, just trying to use up some more of my paper pads. Um, I've pulled out some papers from the Cut and Paste collection from Amy Tan. And then I also have some of those um, dreaded Dillazy papers out as well that I'm trying to use up. Um, I decided to use this um, pink um, paper with the words on as my background. And I'm going to be scrapping one photo on this layout. Um, I've had these bits on my desk, I've used them for um, covering wind spraying and other things like that so they've already got a little bit of texture on and again I'm just using bits and pieces that I've already got um, laying around so I'm just going to mount um, this photo on again this is a cut and paste um, piece of paper and I do find that the colours in this are quite muted so they work quite well with this background paper um, I have a selection of Project Life cards here out on my desk. Um, so I'm just looking at um, if I'm going to include any of those on the layout. Originally I was going to put the top and bottom um, band on. But to side against that, you'll see that this page has many different um, geysers before it gets to its final point. I'm just adding some misting on, that was the Heidi Swap Coral and this is the Tattered Angels Route 66 and really love how that looks and now look at adding some background texture with this um, roller stamp and this is the Small Hearts and again I'm just using a um, distress ink here and just building that up um, over the layout I know that I wanted to cover up um, that top word where it says home because this is actually a um, photo from um, my holiday in America so I don't really want the word home on there. Um, the photo is of me in my LA Lakers um, flat, peak, flat peak cap and um, like a baseball cap and also my hoodie from Boa Gump. So I was doing my little gangster pose. Um, so yeah, that's that's the photo. So I didn't really want home on there. I've then taken this um, pale grey doily, which is one of my favourite colours. Um, I find they work so well on layouts. And I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to place that. At this point, I was still working at using that Project Life card on there. That doesn't actually make it make it to the final layout. Even I really apologise. I really can't talk. Um, I have only had like one, no, two glasses of wine tonight, so was, <laughs> that may have something to do with it. So I'm taking this um, cut and paste paper, and this is the one with all the speech bubbles on. Um, I must admit, speech bubbles are not my favourite, but um, they, I find them quite a good um, layering um, tool, and um, they're quite good for clustering and things like that, so. Um, even though they're not my favourite, um, they do work quite well on this layout. So I'm just um, cutting all the ones out that are the um, bright colours at this point. <coughs> not necessarily worked out where they're all going to go. And I do have the tedious <laughs> bit of cutting them out right now. I do apologise, I could have um, edited that out. Um, my um, I use Windows Movie Maker to do these process videos and in the last week it's become so slow I have no idea why um, you know I've you know, I'm, doing, I'm doing absolutely nothing different um, I've got more space on my hard drive than I did before so I don't know it's just really slowed down and got really clunky so um, I may have to look at using some other software. Um, I have previously used the Adobe um, software but was not really a fan of that so I'm going to persevere with this one um, and hopefully <laughs> um, can get it to work for me but yes it's just being a little irritating at the moment. Um, so while I've been talking I've cut all those different pieces out. Um, this is the point where I decide that that Project Life card is really not going to make it out on the layout. Um, it really is the wrong colours and things. 
So now I'm just looking at clustering up um, those speech bubbles. And I am going for three sort of distinct clusters on this layout. Um, as always, having um, problems with my glue. Um, keeps getting blocked up, but there again, um, the lid doesn't actually close on it now. So, but I do refill it with my larger bottle, so I'm not I'm not too worried. And you know, I get to use my beloved poker tool. I kind of have a few problems just shuffling that doily around, getting it to fit properly. And I've used um, the speech bubbles on this page that you know even include the ones that go half of the page because I find that. Um, you know, they work really well for just tucking under different layers. So I'm just using my ATG here. I wanted to overlap them over the photo as well. Um, this photo was taken on my iPhone 4. Yeah, it was just iPhone 4. Maybe 4S that I had at the time. And it was indoors. Um, in bad lighting, which is why it's quite yellow, um, which is why in a moment you'll see me pick out some more um, yellow speech bubbles because I decided that I really need to pick that the yellow sort of tones out that's in that photo. Um, I didn't edit any of the photos really that um, I printed out from this holiday because I had like 900 odd photos printed out, so um, to edit them all would have taken um, too long, so. I decided just in picking that yellow out though, um, that that kind of adds in that tone. So you'll see me here just trying to work out <laughs> where I can tuck these bits. And as I said, it just really helps um, with that tone on the layout. Here you'll see me, um, I'm trying to get my wood veneers out which I keep in a huge um, container um, and they tuck behind everything else and I just managed to knock everything down so this is my container of wood veneers as you know I keep a smaller container um, of wood veneers that I take to crops and stuff with me um, but this is where I keep um, all my spares well not spares, all the sort of rest of them and this was just from the local um, hardware store um, and it's meant for nails and bits and pieces but I think it works really well for storing those in and here is just my container that I normally use excuse me there just having a yawn I always yawn while doing videos it's really bizarre um anyway um so I'm just going through my other wood veneer and um, bits and pieces here um, and just seeing if I can get anything else to work on this layout um, I really liked um, how these wood veneers worked on this layout actually they just added um, that kind of other sort of yellow tone sort of dimension in um, and you know it goes with the theme of all of the um, speech bubbles I haven't actually journaled on this layout I'm not sure if I will journal on the speech bubbles or if I will journal um, just on that heart piece of paper there um, I tend to kind of worry about that um, towards the end. I know some people um, you know sort of plan how much journaling they want to put on a layout before they do that kind of thing but um, my brain doesn't kind of work that way. Um, I kind of have the creative side of my brain and then the kind of writing more thought out process storytelling side of my brain and they don't really mix that well so <laughs> um, I think about that when I have to. So I'm just going through the cut and paste um, project life kit here and I am just pulling out some cards that are right tone and words that I might use. Um, this says, um, love this and it's in a grey tone. So I just cut that out with that Project Life card and use that to layer there. And I really love how that looks. Um, and again, just looking at where I can tuck that in. And again, just wanted to bring um, another shape over to that side. So I pull out the one that says awesome. Just looking at other scraps and pieces on my desk, seeing if there's anything else I can add. 
And tucking that love this in there just also hides that kind of awkward angle at the top of that um, piece of Amy Tangerine paper. And here I'm just pulling out these, I believe they came with the Sun Drifter collection. They are, um, they're not circles, they're kind of weird sort of random shapes um, with different sayings on. So I'm just pulling them out to add um, on this layout as well. And I'm just using um, my normal um, white glue that I use here. And that's from Cosmic Shimmer, which is a UK based company, but I believe it's kind of similar to um, the um, tacky glue and stuff like that you guys use. It's just like a white craft glue, um, but it's a really good glue. It you know holds everything down um, really well. So I'm just going through different sticker sheets and stuff that I've got here over to one side. Um, I pull out, I want two different size alphas on this page, but while looking for those I kind of go through <laughs> these other sticker sheets. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to put the first, first part of this title um, in the Studio Calico grey and white stickers. And the title of this layout is called Being Gangster. And I'm going to use these grey foam pickers, I believe the, um, they're called Lullaby. Um, they're really nice um, alphas, um, well, you know, they're thicker, but um, they're very big, so I find them quite hard to use. Um, I'd actually run out of a, um E, so I use a C, and I really didn't like the R's in this um, alphabet. It doesn't really look like an R to me. So what, <laughs> what I decided to do is cut up an M to make um, something that's more acceptable as an R to me. So, and I'm happy with how that looks and kind of now I know the size that it's going to take up. So I'm now going to place that on the layout here. And as I said that C does, you know, it kind of works as an E. Um, because of sort of a curly bit at the top there. Um, I do have to change um, the position of this title because um, the word gangster has sort of two ascending letters there um, which didn't work where I had the wood veneer. But I'm really happy where I put it and it's there. it does allow for some journaling to go above. So that is this layout. It was quite a quick layout. It took me under an hour, about 52 minutes. So I will just have some close up um, pictures at the end so thank you very much for watching and I will be back with some more process videos and album chairs and things soon. Um, yeah that's it then so cheers, <laughs> thank you very much and goodbye.